NHL action is back from the December international break and we got 5 games for you ready to go. My name is Andrea Sachinko and you're watching Daily KHL Update. We take it to Russia's Far East first where our more face off against the arch rivals Admiral. The sailors break the ice just out of 3 minutes in. Makes sense that it sends it home of assist by Slavo Shannon. The Tigers are close to tying it up late in the period as Mitro Arhipov skates to the net all by himself, but he can't beat Nikita Serebrikov. Second period, now Arhipov with the puck again, this time he sets up Alexander Kuznetsov in front of the net and Serebrikov kicks it aside. Serebrikov makes a few other huge stops in the third frame and goes on to have a perfect night. Admiral Goltana stops 29 shots in this one for his second shutout of the year and Vladivostok rises from the bottom of the East. 1-0 easy final. Move on to Matishi now where can learn Red Star meets Salavat Yulaya for the first time since September. The verse to strike 10 minutes in, Alexander Kadekin buries his own rebound from the hash marks. The Dragons tie it up just a few shifts later. Luke Lockhart gives the puck to Spencer Foot and he finds the back of the net. Salavat get back in front early in the second. Great diagonal pass by Stefan Sannikov, one more to the far post and Andrei Zuberov beats Jeremy Smith. But Red Star get back even just 50 seconds later with a power play goal. Cross ice pass one timer and Spencer Fu has two on the night. Salavat get their third lead of the game a little after that. Alexander Kadekin scores his second of the night and tenth of the year. The host bring it back to square one once again early in the third. Jason Frem shoves his way to the net and sends it over the pad of Yuka Metzela. He goes to overtime and Salavat score the winner in the last minute. Philip Larson nets the beauty of a setup by Nikola Kuleman. Salavat Yulaev beat Kunlun Red Star for the second straight time. 4-3 is the final. We're off to St. Petersburg now where Spartak visit SKA. The red and white get on the board three and a half minutes in. Alexander Koklachev buries the rebound and says hello to his former team. But as he tie it up and get in front before the intermission, Anton Bordasov snaps his 19th of the season to tie it up. And with just five seconds remaining to be played in the frame, Daniel Polinkov scores from the slot. It's 2-1 up to 20. Second period now, Askia with another man advantage. Andrei Kuzmenko eyes Anton Bordasa from behind the net, connects with him, and the skipper scores his 20th of the season. And then Kuzmenko scores of a great solo effort to give St. Petersburg a commanding 4 1 lead late in the frame. Bordak pulled back to within two right before the buzzer. With 7 seconds on the clock, Alexander Nikishin slams it home from the point, but that's as close as they can get. SPA beats Spartak for the first time in 3 games this season, 4 2 easy final. Our next up is Helsinki, Finland. Jokeri do battle with Red Army tonight. There's no scoring in the first, so we pick it up from the second. Henry Ikenen gets on his jet, speeds to the net and sets up Estonian forward Christian Kompe for his very first career KHL goal. But Red Army tied up just 14 seconds later. Captain Sergei Andron acquires it home from a face of circle. Joachim Nordstrom and Lukas Wolmer for the helpers. The red and blue get on the lead early in the third. Konstantin Akulov makes a wonderful pass and Sergei Plotnikov beats Yanni Juvenen. And late in regulation, Plotnikov scores on a breakaway to put a ball on it. Red Army beat Gokurik and Helsinki for the second time this season. 3-1 is your final. Our last game of the night takes place in Riga, Latvia. It's an old Dynamo contest. Dynamo Riga meet Dynamo Minsk. The Versus get a two-man advantage early in the game and they make it count. Vladislav Yerobinko sends it past Yulis Gudacek from the high slot. They double their lead late in the period. Hero Varanen puts his skill on display with this great spinorama move and scores an absolute beauty. 
Valerie Sadev throws Delicia 3 0 late in the second. Roman Gurbanov streaks down the right wing and beats Hudicic glove side. Mint scored another one less than a minute into the third. Hudicic tries to play the puck with Sonnet and it's 4 0 for the Beersters. All Riga can do in this one is steal the shadow from Alexei Kolosov. Rudolf Chalvena converts on a late power play. Dynamo Minsk with their second in a row. 4 1 is the final in Latvia tonight. And that's it for the LKHL update, but do come back tomorrow for another set of six games, including Service Stall against Metalurg and Akbars vs. Tractor. My name is Andrea Sachinka. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon.